So welcome to the another session from the Mountain Path, the World of Finance from Ravi Chandran. This session we will discuss three period European binomial option pricing model using volatility, three period European binomial option pricing model with the asset providing yield in percentage, three period European binomial option pricing model with the dividends payable during the life of the option. Let's quickly go into the models. Let's look at this spot where the asset is given as 100, the strike price is given as 105 and the option expiry is 1 year and since it is a 3 step binomial, so we take uh, the 3 steps and the discrete period and is a 1 by 3 and we have the taken the risk free rate as 5% on a continuous compounding and the volatility is given as 25%. So now in this example, the the previous uh, videos we examined uh, the option the underlying price will go by certain percentage will go down by certain percentage here the volatility is given so when we calculate the u and d and we cannot use the, the previous formula so we have to use uh, a, a different approach so the up factor u is equal to exponential sigma into square root of the the discrete time. The discrete time interval is a 1 by 3 here. Similarly, the D is a and here 1 by and U that is a D. So, for this is change in the formula and the only change in the formula here whereas the up probability is the same formula. We use exponential RT minus D divided by U minus D and similarly the down probability is a 1 minus a the up probability. We also calculate the discounting factor since we are using continuous compounding exponential minus r into t. Let's quickly go into the tree and the current stock price is 100. The stock price can go and to 100 into u and that is 115. It can come down to and 100 into d. So we will build this and uh, the binomial tree for the three periods. The first period is uh, the fourth month. The second period is the eighth month and the third period is actually and uh, and uh, what is called uh, the one year. So 4 by 12, 8 by 12 and 12 by 12. So we divide the periods like that. So once you have the, the value of the stock or value of the asset at the nodes, then we calculate and uh, the call option value that is maximum offer and uh, the stock price uh, minus the strike price comma zero. So here the option is uh, in the money. Here also is in the money and here these two last two nodes the option is, uh, is out of the money, x is uh, out of the money, there is no value here. Again we have to travel backwards that is working backwards through backward induction process. So we calculate the present value of the expected value. So the present value of expected value is nothing but 49.19 into up probability, 10.53 into down probability multiplied by the, the discounting factor we got 30.2. So similarly, we can calculate the similar values here, the present value, the expected value of this node. Similarly here, the present value is 0 here. Now again, when we go back backwards, we have to calculate that the present value of the expected value that is 18.05. So in the present value, the expected value is nothing but that 5.4 into the up probability, 0 into down probability into the discounting factor. Again, when we reach the, uh, the current time, that is a uh, present time, so the value of the call option is calculated. So the three period is a, a simplified uh, and uh, a backward uh, and uh, induction process. So we calculate the initial node value, then we calculate the, the call option value at the end node, then we actually and uh, travel that is working backwards, we calculate the present value of the, what is called uh, and uh, the expected value of the option values, we can calculate the option values. Similarly, for a put option, everything remains same, excepting the, the value of the put option at the end node, we need to calculate maximum of strike price minus the, the current value of the, and, uh, the underlying assets. So we calculate the put option is x, y is worthless at these two nodes, and you can see only these two nodes you have the put option payoff value. Again, we have to work backwards, 0 into up probability into 0 into down probability is 0. Then here, 0 into up probability plus 18.4 into down probability multiplied by the discounting factor. So again, working backwards, we reach the destination actually, we calculate the put option price. 
so we can check whether our calculation is correct using a uh, what is called your using the python code also we'll get the exact value if you run the python code actually and uh, for the same thing let's quickly go into run the, the python code for this uh, two p and three period binomial option with the yield and the python code gives you the exact calculation that we obtained uh, in our excel formulas okay you can see that we got uh, the call option value is 10.56 here and the put option value is uh, and 10.44 here so we can always uh, and uh, check our calculation is absolutely perfect using the python code also let's quickly go into the next model so so far we are not and discussed uh, how do you calculate a three period uh, european binomial option using yield when an underlying asset and yields uh, and uh, a two percent yield uh, an annual basis that means uh, and, and how do you calculate uh, in the binomial and uh, um, call option and put option using the three period binomial here we need to do only a little adjustment here when you calculate uh, all the other steps remain same so the the first thing is that the u and d calculations uh, remain same the and since volatility is given yield is given so the u is nothing but exponential sigma into square root of the delta time or the discrete time here the d is nothing but 1 by u so only only one change you have to calculate that is nothing but when you calculate the probability normally we calculate exponential rt minus d divided by u minus d here what we do is we subtract the yield from the the r discrete rate of interest so that means the discrete rate of interest is given as 5% 5% minus 2% into the delta t and uh, that is exponential rt minus d divided by u minus d so only one small change you have to do only one area and then the downside probability is nothing but one minus upside probability the discounting factor is a exponential minus a and r into t so and so that is everything remains the same so look at that and here we have taken the spot price is 100 the strike price is 105 the option expire is 1 year and the steps is 3 steps so the discrete period is 0.33 here and the RFR is 5%. So with this value, we can calculate uh, the stock from 100 can go into and S into U that is 115.53. Yes into D that is nothing but 86.56. Similarly at that and a second period here look at this one. We have calculated one year. One year is divided into three periods. 4 by 12, 8 by 12 and 12 by 12. These are all the time nodes. So at the fourth month, end of the fourth month, this is a value. At the end of the eighth month, yes, you, you, the spot price, uh, 100 is multiplied into and this 133.7. You can check it actually. It's very easy to calculate uh, the node values. Or you can simply put uh, yes, u square actually. That will also give you the, the same value. So that means uh, we are able to get the values uh, of the nodes. Uh, Similarly, the last node, yes, u, 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 u. Or you can calculate 133.47 into the u. So once you fix the values, then the next is we need to calculate the, the since it is a call option, calculate the, the call payoff value, which is nothing but the, the maximum of the node value minus the strike price, comma zero. So once it, you can see that the top nodes have in the money, we can see 154.19 minus 105 the strike price. Okay, and that, that's, why, that's why we have a actually intrinsic value. The last two nodes don't have intrinsic value, it expires out of the money. Now again we calculate the present value the, and expected value. So it's nothing but the 10 po and the 49.19 into upside probability and then 10.53 into downside probability multiplied by the discounting factor. So we calculate the, the present value or the expected value at these nodes. Again, we'll travel backwards from 8th month to the 4th month. We calculate uh, the present value, the expected value with the same methodology. Again, we reach uh, the current position, the time t0. We calculate what is uh, what is called uh, the call option value. And uh, similarly, we can calculate the put option value. So the call option, put option only difference here. And at the end node, we calculate uh, the put option payoff value. Whereas a call option, we calculate uh, the call option payoff value. So the so the three period binomial option and uh, is uh, with the yield uh, the only only small adjustment we have to do that means uh, for the calculating the upside probability. Let's quickly go into how do we calculate 
when and a dividend is given a dollar value in dividend is given which is payable let's look at this one the current stock price is 50 the strike price is given as 49 and the option expires in the ninth month after nine months so we'll take the three steps that means uh, for every and 0.25 that means three months six months nine months is the time intervals we have taken and the risk free rate of interest is continuous compounding five percent let's take the volatility is 30 percent now let's look into and the dividend is given in dollar terms payable that is two dollars payable in in one and a half months that is in exactly 45 days so how do you calculate so first calculate the steps is very clear calculate the u and the d factors u is nothing but ex exponential sigma into the delta t square root of delta t similarly d is a 1 by d so that means once you fix the u and d value then again we need to calculate the ups up probability there is no difference here exponential rt minus d and divided by u minus d similarly the downside probability is a nothing but 1 minus upside probability Calculate the discounting factor exponential minus 5% into the discrete time. So there is no change here. Where we are going to change? So we first we have to calculate the adjusted stock price to that. So we calculate the, the present value of the dividend. So the dividend is payable to two dollars payable in one and a half months so calculate the present value of the dividends that is nothing but two into exponential minus r into the time that is a one and a half months divided by 12 so you'll get 1.988 so now we subtract the present value from the actually the and from the spot price the spot price is 50 so the present value of dividend is subtracted so going forward we will use uh, only and the adjusted spot price uh, to calculate uh, and put it in our tree so instead of starting with the and the current spot price of 50 we will start with the, the adjusted stock price uh, of 48.01 so now we calculate the rest of the tree we have to construct the tree exactly like that and for the first period and for the three months s into u and s into d for the second period six months s into u into u here s into u into d see here s into d into d again for the the last uh, that is the ninth month s u u u cubed so you construct the nodes correctly then since there is a call of value maximum of uh, and uh, the call value minus uh, the payoff value minus the uh, the strike price comma zero so find out uh, these two nodes you can see that it has got intrinsic value and our our strike price is 49 we can see that 75.3 minus 49 is 26.3 55.78 minus 49 is 6.8 so these things actually and x y is out of the money maximum of and 41.32 minus 49 is 0 maximum of 30.61 minus 49 0 so we calculate the, the end nodes the call option payoff value then we have to and work backwards and uh, the process is backward induction so we calculate the present value of that and uh, the expected value multi and that is nothing but uh, the expected value multiplied by the the discount rate we have already calculated so similarly for the other nodes we calculate that again traveling from the six month to three months calculate the and the present value the expected values then again travel backwards the current period time t0 we'll get the call option price so in a when the dollar is given only adjustment we have to do is a calculate the adjusted stock price and build the tree accordingly so we can similarly for the put option you have to calculate the payoff for the the put option which is nothing but maximum strike price minus the the put and the, the value at the, the end node value then you have to work backwards so so far we have discussed today and the three period binomial option using volatility how do we incur how do you and uh, change the, the calculations so the only change we calculate actually in actually whenever there is a yield whenever the yield is given as a percentage or volatility is given as a percentage so only thing we have to calculate the u and d in a different formula the second method we started cal using yield as a percentage when yield is given as a percentage change in a up probability only one small exponential instead of using r into t minus d divided by u minus d we use exponential r minus the yield and minus d and divided by u minus d the other things remains constant 
if that same dividend is given as a, a dollar dividend calculate the present value of the dividend subtract the present value of the dividend from the current stock price and calculate the adjusted stock price so use it in the build the tree starting from the adjusted stock price then proceed no, normally so in the next video we will discuss a, a three period uh, american call option and put options and with some modification thank you for listening welcome